Hello. Welcome to another uh, lesson in this topic called geometry. Now we are looking at um, how to find a gradient when you are given uh, a linear equation. Because in the previous lesson, we looked at um, when you are given two points, how do you find a gradient? Now we want to look at a case where you have the linear equation and then they want you to find a gradient. How do we identify the gradient? So we need to write our equation in the form um, y is equals to mx plus c. Once we write our equation in this form, when we write our equation in this form, this becomes our gradient. The coefficient of x becomes our gradient. Then, uh, then this one is the y-intercept. It is the coordinate, for instance, uh, if you have this so this point is going to be the coordinate on the y uh, axis the point at which the line the line cuts the y uh, the point at which the y i mean the equation cuts the y axis this is the y intercept here so you have to know that to know what your gradient is going to be you need to rewrite your equation in this form in this form and after we've written our equation in this form, the coefficient of x is going to be our gradient. You know when we're talking about gradient, we are looking at uh, how steep the, <coughs> the, the slope is. Okay? So what is it that we're talking about? Given this, uh, given this, uh, given the, the equations that we, we have here, what is our um, gradient on the first one? As I said, the most important thing is we need to make sure that we write our equations in this form. M, X plus C. This one is the intercept, the Y intercept. This one is our gradient. So when you look at our first equation, when you look at our first equation, it is already written in that form. Okay? It is already written in this form. Where well, we have x plus uh, 4. So, the coefficient of x here, the coefficient of x here, is what is going to be our gradient. And in this case, our m is equals to 1. The coefficient of x here is 1. And that is what is going to be our gradient in this case. Okay? That is what is going to be our gradient. So, we look at uh, the second one. We look at the second one. Don't forget that we need to, to determine the gradient, we need to write our equation in this form. Okay? So, we come to the second one. Look at the second one. We need to, have to, we need to make sure that we make y, we are solving for y. We are solving for y, we are making y the subject of the formula. Then we get the coefficient of what? The coefficient of uh, x. So, we get this one. Uh, 3y is equals to... Uh, 7x minus 6. So I said we need to write this equation in this form, meaning the y should remain alone in this side. So what are we going to do? We are going to divide this one by 3, this one by 3, even this side by 3. Okay? Now, you know that this is going to give us y here. We're going to get y. Then this side, we're going to get uh, 7x over... 3 minus 2 when you divide here. Okay? When you divide here. So, our gradient here now at this point, we know that the coefficient of x is equal to 7 over 3. So, this is our gradient. This is how steep this slope is going to be. Alright? So, then this is the y intercept. This is the y intercept minus 2. Okay? So, the, this line is going to cut the y-axis at this point. That is what we are supposed to know. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. Okay? Let's look at the... the okay, let me take this one. Let me, let me deal with this one. 
Then I'll leave the, the other two for you. Let me take this one, which is a 6y minus 2x minus 7 is equals to 0. A zero then remember that we need to write our equation in this form, okay? Where we make y the subject of the formula. That is our... <clears throat> so we need to make sure that now we are solving for y. We want to make y the subject of the formula. So we add, like we are adding on both sides the additive inverse. The additive inverse of this one. Because we want to get rid of these two. So in other words, these ones will be going the other side. Okay? So I'm going to have this is equals to... Remember that immediately after the equal sign we should have. Now this is going to become a... a, a, a a, a positive this side because we are talking about the additive inverse of negative 2x okay so it's going to be the additive inverse of uh, negative minus 7 is plus 7 all right so from this point from this point we have now to divide uh, both sides by uh, 6 because we are looking at uh, now we're going to make y the subject of the formula. So it's like we are dividing. Uh, we are multiplying both sides by the multiplicative index of 6, which you, we say in other words we are dividing by 6 here. Also we divide by 6, we divide by 6. So this gives us y is equal to what? This is going to be 1 over 3x plus 7 over 6. Now I said our interest here, we want to find what the gradient is. So what is our gradient? In this case, our gradient is the coefficient of x. Okay, it's a coefficient of x. So we get this one here, which is 1 over 3. If this is a minus, make sure that it will be a minus. Okay, if it's a minus, this will be a, a minus here. Basically, this is what we are talking about now. You've got such questions in paper 1, where you are asked to state a gradient from a linear uh, equation that is given. That, these are simple questions. Make sure you download the software, the, I mean the application that has got uh, the past papers, go to paper 1. Uh, look out for these questions okay this is the the first uh, this is the, the fourth presentation that i'm making in this topic so please i expect you to follow these things in their order so that you get maximum benefit of them otherwise we are ensuring to make sure that we provide mathematics in its simplified form so that you benefit uh, then so you can now consider doing this one and this one remember you need to write your equation in this form after you've written your equation in this form the coefficient of x here is going to be your gradient if you have something like this one negative minus one i mean plus one your gradient will still be negative two so make sure we do that this is basically what is expected of us to do under this uh, this was a short presentation and you expect such questions in paper one Okay, so look out for more presentations. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, give us a comment on uh, how best we can deliver the service to you. Okay, for those of you that uh, uh, colleagues, like teachers, please, you can also comment on how we can uh, improve. Thank you very much for watching.